You too, it's your boy Good Life Forever, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to do an epic ball fade. Okay, this is one of the best ball fades I've ever done. So lock in, sit back, enjoy this video, and please watch it to the very end. All right, I enjoy this client. This client comes to me every two weeks. Um, he finally um, let me record this haircut. I've been trying to record this haircut for about a month now. Um, he gets a very you know he has a very good grade of hair which i love good grades of hair because guess what they're easier to fade y'all when you have a clean canvas and the canvas already comes with good hair on a clean canvas your fades come out official all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to comb through the hair all right i'm gonna comb through the beard he's been stressing out so he's been pulling on his beard a lot that's why y'all see a lot of those patches but we're gonna get him all the way together all right i'm combing through the hair you know what I'm saying as I'm coming through the hair, I'm going through my consultation. All right, I'm looking for any deformities in the scalp. I'm looking for any hair loss. I'm looking for, you know what I'm saying, ringworms, tinnitus, anything like that as I'm going through the hair. All right, you do not want to start cutting the head if you see any infections going on with the scalp. All right, you can pass this up on to other clients and then you don't start a whole epidemic of things going on within your barbershop. You do not want to get sued. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my one guard open with my gammas man i love these clippers all right these are the gamma ergos um you can find them about everywhere right now this is the best fading clipper on the market right now i've never used the jrls so i don't know but for the clippers that i have used this is the best fading clipper out today yes i said it all right we're gonna lock in we're gonna get this ball fade all the way together we're gonna get this client up out of here and you know watch his face at the end of this video or how excited he is after this haircut you know what i'm saying i was very 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 locked in on this haircut you know what i'm saying i wanted to make sure you know he was had he had a bad week so i try to do the best i can to get his confidence up all right as y'all see i'm going with the grain i'm taking my time i'm making sure i'm hitting the right angles because once you go towards the back he has kind of like a 540 the way his hair naturally lays all right so i'm just knocking down everything to the desired length getting to where i need to be until i start the next step all right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Gamma Ergos and I'm going to close them all the way. Um, the reason why I'm not using my liners is because I do not want to set a hard line, okay? If you use the liners, you press down on the skin too hard, you can set a hard line. It's going to be hard to take that bottom line out. So basically what I'm doing, I'm just going in with my Ergos. I'm starting my bald line. Then I'm going to follow up with my trimmers, but I'm not going to bring it all the way up to the line. I'm going to stop my trimmers right below the line so I can come back with my ergos and knock that line completely out and give him a smooth ball transition into the next level to fade. Okay, his hair kind of grows to the sides, up, down, in the back. So I'm just going in different directions to make sure this canvas is clean. Remember, the cleaner the canvas, the better the haircut is going to turn out. All right, um, I'm turning the camera and the head at the same time. I kind of like this iPhone setup that I have um i am noticing that it's easier so basically you know i just use my ring light as a tripod you know what i'm saying and i'm able to zoom in on the haircut the way i want to and you know get the right angles that i'm looking for um sometimes dslr cameras the way our shop is set up as y'all see in the background you know the mirrors are like nailed to the wall so i can't use a window mount or anything like that for my camera you know what i'm saying so i can focus on the haircut and know my camera's in the right spot you know so this iphone technique is is a lot easier for me at the moment um the chairs are kind of close together so i can't really get the setup that i'm looking for all right the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my clipper all the way open and i'm going to start my next guideline i'm taking my time i'm going in about a quarter of an inch he doesn't like it too too high you know, so I'm going at the quarter of the inch, the back of his head kind of grows to the side and kind of grows upward. Remember, he still have that 540 kind of transition in the back. So that's what I'm doing now. That's why you see me taking my clipper to the side, go in and clear that panel out. All right, as y'all can see, even though I'm all the way open, as y'all see that bottom line is very, very thin. Okay, it is not a hard bottom line down there, which is, that's a good sign. That means, you know, pretty much halfway two clicks up or two clicks down i'm gonna knock that ball line out with no problem okay so i'm just going in keeping everything consistent make sure everything is clean as possible i'm just you know i'm just knocking this you know just taking my time making sure everything is clean you know what i'm saying remember don't go on to the next step until you perfect it that last step all right 
So basically, I'm just opening and closing as I'm going. I'm just knocking the line out as I open and close. All right, y'all, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my one guard clothes. I'm gonna go in and go in my third step. All right, remember, if y'all pay attention to my videos, I take the same steps every single haircut, okay? I use the same steps every single haircut. I don't switch anything up. Sometimes I may put the fade in before I, you know, knock the hair down. You know what I'm saying? I may switch it up a little bit like that. But besides that, as far as working on my fade and working on everything that I have to do, I go in and I you do the same thing every single time, all right? I go in with my one guard clothes, I clean that panel out, all right, his hair is cut down to a one. So pretty much a one guard open is gonna go ahead and blend that fade into that one guard clothes, all right? If that makes sense to y'all, it's that easy, y'all. Whatever, whatever length you cut your hair down with, if you come with the same guard and you put it about open or halfway guess what y'all it's gonna knock that line out all right so that's the thing so every fade is four steps okay bald open one guard one guard open at the top and everything is gonna fall into place then to take that dark line out i'm gonna go in with my half guard because with gamblers you can use wall guards okay so i'm going in my one and a half because i wasn't too sure so just to be safe i'm going in with my one guard one and a half guard closed and i'm nudging at that line to see if that one and a half you know what I'm saying is going to take it out so we're doing doing a pretty good job blending it out but i'm still going to come back with my one and make sure all of that line is knocked out okay so basically i was just being safe y'all sometimes if you're not sure in a particular haircut because of the texture of the year, of the hair go one guard up and it's going to save you from going i'd rather go one guard up and not cut enough hair than to go one guard down and i basically mess the whole hair cut up so that's all i'm doing is i'm just going one guard up you know what i'm saying going from open to close seeing if it's doing what it is that i need to do which is one and a half which i was almost correct you know what i'm saying so now i'm just gonna come back with my one a little bit later on in the video and finish blending that in the way i needed to be so by looking at that one and a half being closed like that i was able to get that fade to blend the way i did all i gotta do is just come in with my one guard open and just nudge that line to make that line more blurry all right so now i'm going in with my um one guard and then i'm gonna go back in with my half guard and i'm gonna start nudging back in at that line see you see how that line is starting to come out so i'm just opening and closing the higher i go the more i open the clipper the lower i go the more that i close the clipper okay so that's how you make a transition it's just nudging at the line comb comb cut all right a lot of issues that a barber have is either they take the line up too far or they don't comb as they cut the hair okay so remember when you're cutting the hair it's lifting the hair up to cut it so you need to comb it back down to see the direction of the hair and to see if that guard is doing what it is that you need to do okay so that's all i'm doing that's why i do two strokes two strokes with the comb it ain't nothing but a rhythm okay build your rhythm build your system stay consistent on that system and your face gonna come out a whole lot better all right so on the right side you see that dark spot sitting up there pretty much out but on this side you still see a lot of evidence of it so i'm just going in and i'm just nudging a lot of those dark spots out um i'm eventually take that guard out and do a little bit of detail work in there and then we're gonna get to it all right y'all the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start working on the beard okay he always likes his bottom line to be right under the mandible okay which for you guys that don't know what the mandible bone is that is your jaw bone so we like his beard line to be underneath his mandible because he likes to have that beard that you know that full beard effect without the hair up on, the, on his neck okay so i'm just going around his beard prepping his beard for the lineup as y'all see he has a lot of patches like i stated earlier in the video that basically you know 
you know, stress happens sometime, and he basically using his beard to knock that stress out. So the good thing about us as licensed professionals, our job is to come in, give these clients the best services as possible, give them the best experience as possible. So we, you know, so we can go in and, um, you know, just make them feel better about themselves. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, people have a long week, and not only are we professionals with hair, we're also psychiatrists. You know what I'm saying? Excuse my phone back there. Uh, you know the bank bank account balances and stuff like that. So that's all we doing. Now I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna start in with the lineup. All right. I'm starting with the left bar first because his left side is his weakest side. And I'm gonna start at the middle. And I'm gonna bring that all the way over to match the top. Okay. Um. So that's all I'm doing. I just started back at the point and I just came back over. And as long as I establish that side correctly, the other side is gonna fall right in place. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Barber Magic Pencil and I'm gonna start working on making my chalk line. Hey, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the like button on this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on post notifications for this video. Um, I, very, I work hard, I told y'all I'm back. I'm trying to bring our videos back to back to back y'all. All right, so for those of y'all that support me and like all of my videos and keep watching my videos, I appreciate y'all, all right? It's too crowded at the bottom. I'm trying to get to the top. You know what I'm saying? So I skipped the seam because my body was in the way, but I went ahead and put some fibers onto his hairline to fill those um, alopecia spots up. As y'all see, it looks natural from the side. I didn't put a whole lot or I didn't overdo it. So, you know, that's what I did. So, hey, y'all, man, this is the haircut. I mean, I hope y'all like it. Please, if you like it, please hit that like button. Make sure you put a comment down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, it's good life over everything. I appreciate y'all, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.